Hello everyone, my name is Ankush Jain and in this episode we are going to talk about proxy integration and non-proxy integration in Amazon API Gateway. I'm going to explain you uh, what is the difference between these two and I will be using AWS Lambda function uh, to explain you this. And uh, I will be also show, uh, uh, showcasing your entire thing with a practical demonstration with .NET Lambda functions in this tutorial. So yeah, let's get started. So before we move ahead to understand uh, the difference between proxy integration and non-proxy integration, let's understand what are the types of the integration. So you can see first is non-proxy integration that is straightforward. But inside proxy integration, there are two variants. One is we can uh, do it without proxy resource and we can do with proxy resource. So I will also explain you this in a bit. So let's first understand non-proxy integration. This is very straightforward. Uh, so what, what happens when uh, you as a client uh, submit a request from either a web browser or Postman? Yeah. So normally a web request contains these things, request headers, query string, URL path variables and payload. So all the data is sent or submitted to API Gateway, but the API Gateway only send the payload part to the Lambda function. And uh, the Lambda function then return the data in whatever format it wants. and the API gateway then returns you HTTP res response. So in that case, think uh, non-proxy integration. So here the Lambda function do not worry, uh, don't need to worry about what information I'm getting in request. It will only get the payload that it need to work with and uh, the rest thing, uh, you know, whatever it want to return, it can return. Now coming to proxy integration. So you can see here, the user or client is sending the same request like uh, it's sent in previous uh, previous way. But now the entire request is sent to the Lambda function with some additional API configuration data. So here in this case, Lambda will be receiving an event or an object that will have request headers, query string parameters, URL path variables, payload, plus additional API configuration data. And now this Lambda has, uh, I mean, know everything uh, about the request. It can, you know, understand that request. It can pass the request. It can process it and then respond with a specific format, which is predefined by API Gateway. So yeah, uh, if I just double click on this image to make it a little bit uh, big. So yeah, you can see like the response format it has to return the response in this specific format where you know this JSON is specified or is a fixed schema that has already been defined by AWS. So the Lambda will return the response in this format. The API gateway will understand it and accordingly create a create a HTTP response and return it to the client. Okay, so now I will open this link, which is also a very uh, you know useful link. Okay, so here you, I would recommend you to read this paragraph, but yeah, I would just, you know, summarize it for you. So in Lambda proxy integration, when clients submit an API request, uh, API gateway passes to integrated Lambda function and event object. Okay, and this event object includes everything like, as I said, header, query string, and uh, URL path variables, payload, and API configuration data. And the last thing I would like to, you know, call out here, uh, the Lambda function must return the result in this format. So as I said, in proxy integration, the output format of the Lambda function should be this, okay? This is what I have just added here in, in the image. Okay, now closing this. So this is, uh, I mean, you have understood now uh, the non-proxy integration and proxy integration. The difference is happening on the Lambda level. What Lambda is receiving, what input Lambda is receiving. If Lambda is receiving entire proxy or entire data uh, or entire request object, then that is a proxy integration. But if Lambda is only getting the payload, then it is a non-proxy integration. Okay, so now uh, without wasting much time, let's you know get into the code and understand how does it work. So I will copy this, okay. Anyway, so I'm on Visual Studio and I'm creating a new project. So first we are going to understand uh, non, uh, I mean, uh, non-proxy integration. So I will search AWS and Lambda project. 
so here I will select my location and non proxy AWS Lambda I will rename the solution name prox AWS Lambda integration demo I will create this project I will select empty function now waiting for the visual studio to create the lambda function so it has created okay now okay so we have uh, i mean first i'm going to show you how non-proxy integration works so in that case i will just or i will just yeah create a class and i will name it as user object or user dto yeah and this user dto will have okay so it will have two properties one is name another property would be age okay and i will make it public so now i will go to my function and here i will use this user dto okay and here i will again use uh, return the same user dto okay so whatever input i am getting here i will return as it is so as i said uh, here i just need to deal with the payload so i will be submitting this information from my postman i should receive this information and whatever information i am receiving here i will return as it is uh, as so and i should get that as part of my http response so uh, to make sure that you we are getting proper response i will update i will append the edge so i will no, <laughs> i will just increase the edge by 10 Okay, so now I have done it. I am going to deploy it. Okay, so I will move my region. I will select North Virginia. Sorry, let me see which region I am in. North California, which is US West one. North California. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I am here now. What I will do, I will just publish this lambda. Okay, here I will select the same name release configuration. This is the function handler. Okay, next. in the role i will select lambda basic execution role that i have created i mean this role has necessary permission to write into cloudwatch and all so i will just upload this lambda function i will go here and meanwhile i will open the lambda function So as of now the function is not deployed okay it is creating a zip it has deployed I guess function is deployed but I cannot see it here I have to check in which region it has deployed I think it has deployed in Mumbai region okay it has deployed in mumbai region so let's move towards mumbai region okay here i have this lambda function non-proxy integration okay that's fine so i will again go to api gateway now i will create an api gateway api so i have an api already but now i will create a new one i will go to to rest api and from here i will select rest i will select a new api and uh, integration 
demo API. I will not keep the endpoint public. I will keep it regional. I will create API. Okay, so now, okay, so we are understanding what a non proxy integration is. So for that, now we are in API gateway. We have created a Lambda function. Now we will create routes so, or resources. So first resource I will create uh, a non non proxy API. Okay. So this is resource name. You can keep it. Uh, I mean, uh, you can change. Uh, it is not necessary that these path and name should be same. But yeah, ideally, it uh, directly pick the name, pick the path from whatever you enter here. So you just need to keep it unticked because we are not using proxy integration. So just type non proxy integration and create resource. OK, now select this and create a method. And here I will use post. Now I will select Lambda as an integration type and here we will untick it Lambda proxy integration. We are not using proxy integration here. I will type non proxy. I will select the Lambda that I created and I will just click on save. You are about to give API gateway permission to invoke your Lambda function. So we will say OK. Now we have created this uh, API. Now we have to deploy it. So we'll just click here, new stage, stage name dev, and I will deploy it in dev stage. So now we have deployed this API in dev stage, and here is our proxy integration, uh, sorry, non proxy integration, and here we got the URL. So now if I open this, you know, it, it won't work because we don't have anything on root, but if I test it, uh, so if I copy this, I mean, I can test it from here as well, but I will take you to Postman, which would be uh, easier for you to understand. And I will make, I will select post. Okay. Now I will select row and what I will go to the DTO that I created name and age. So I will select name. I will select name. Okay. I will keep it JSON. JSON, sorry. And H, I will keep it 20. Okay. I will just click on send button so you can see I mean I'm not sending uh, I mean I'm making a simple web request send so you can see I have received the response uh, so and the age is 30 now so it means we are getting correct response directly from our lambda function which we created here so what is the conclusion conclusion is that this user DTO that we added here is getting the right input that we are sending here okay and we are just returning this dto and this dto is coming as part of body okay we might be getting uh you know response header as well but we are getting the body you know this is the part that we are returning from here is what we are getting in body so this is how non-proxy integration works we are not dealing with any header query string uh, or path variables those kind of things we are just dealing with the objects now i will show you what is a proxy integration so i will close this and i will create another new project i will select aws lambda project uh, here i will name non proxy lambda okay i will name it proxy lambda proxy aws lambda okay okay i will click on create empty function finish so now i will walk you so here now we are doing without proxy resource okay i told you like in proxy integration there are two types of uh, uh, integration we can do it without proxy resource or with with proxy resource so uh, as of now uh, i am you know showing you without proxy resource so what happens in proxy resource uh, okay we'll talk uh, it later when we'll reach there so 
our project is now created and I will uh, go to the function so here we are you know ex uh, taking input uh, in a string but we have to change it so I will go there and I will install this NuGet package because this is required for proxy integration I will tell you the reason why so I will go here because uh, this is a NuGet package that has been created by AWS and it has all the uh, .NET DTOs or POCO classes uh, in a format uh, which you know uh, uh, which AWS Lambda expect when it is receiving a request from API Gateway so I will type API Gateway uh, so let me give me one minute Sorry, which NuGet package I installed? I will go here. I will type like this API Gateway Proxy Request. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Okay, now it has automatically added the namespace. So now we are we will in proxy integration we will be using this object instead of a dto because this object includes everything that we are supposed to get from the uh, from api gateway in proxy integration because entire request is proxy to your lambda function so your lambda should understand what is coming in so now you can see uh, there is request identity i mean a lot of uh, things here serial number and if i show you so if you go to this link and from here you will go to this link here you will see input format of lambda function for proxy integration so here you can see resource path what is the type of method http method headers query strings domain name prefix identity path stage variables body everything you will get here so that you know this is basically a json object and uh, the dot net object i mean the respective dot net object is this so it we will get our uh, request data here so now what i will do i will simply return uh, input dot body because uh, yeah i can do it like this input dot body is it a string yeah it is a string so i can simply return it so i just want to show you the concept so uh, whatever i get in body i will return as it is uh, and i can log uh, it the request in logger as well so i will log 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 information i don't find information okay log information and i will request input okay i will log everything in oh i will have to serialize it so json serializer dot serialize i i will log everything in cloudwatch so i we can see there okay so now we will be getting the entire request uh, uh, input here and we are just returning it the body part and what will happen oh, oh sorry we cannot return body i think we have to uh, make i was making so we have to because i as i said we have to return the data in a specific format so we have to use this and uh, i have to create a new object of this and here i will have the body part and inside body i have to return body yeah and status code i will update it to 200 if it is taking a string sorry yeah so now we are good to go we are returning the body in perfect object that uh, that we need okay so now we have created this now i will deploy this again publish to aws lambda i will take the same name function and we'll move okay i earlier i forgot to change the reason here that's why i deployed in mumbai so no worries okay meanwhile it okay it came here so again i am using the same basic execution role and i am just uploading it so 
it will publish and deploy the lambda function to uh, mumbai mumbai region what happened uh, ha, ha, ha. yeah it is failing what went wrong let me build it once to make sure there is no error Build succeeded. Now I should try again. Publish to AWS Lambda proxy. Next. Lambda basic execution role. It should work now. okay yeah it is deployed so i will go back to my console i will okay i'm not going to uh, go again on lambda uh, console to show you it is deployed it is deployed i know so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create another resource here so i will just select okay i will go here resources i will select the root and now i will select i will create a resource and this time i will name it proxy resource okay so still, you know, as I told you, I am not creating a proxy. Uh, I'm I'm not doing proxy integration with proxy resource. So I, I that that is the that will be there in the last uh, uh, last uh, demo. We I mean in in the last segment of this uh, episode. So yeah, we I'm I'm giving it proxy resource, and a resource path is again proxy resource, and again I will select this and I will click on create method i will click on post or i can do any yeah i can do any and now lambda i will select lambda function and why i you know selected any because uh, i want that if any request is coming to this route for example this was our url and if it is any request is coming to this proxy resource okay so it doesn't matter it is a get request post request delete request all the request can be routed to that lambda and because that lambda function uh, has the power to understand what kind of request it, it is because because it will get that information here in http method so if i show you here it will get the information here http method so from here it will be able to identify what kind of request it, it is it is get or post and it will handle accordingly so that's the power of proxy integration so i'm just i just supplied any i selected lambda function and i selected ap south one i use i selected use lambda proxy integration which i had not selected earlier here i will type proxy aws lambda and i will just click on save again i will click ok once I do it, I have to deploy it and I will just click on deploy again development and then deploy. So now it is deployed and I will come here in stages dev. You can see to uh, you can see all the methods are supported now. So I will go in proxy integration. I can test it from here as well. But as I said, I would I am more comfortable with postman. So I will go here. I will write i will go here now what i will do i because okay let, let's send a request see what happens okay so we did not get anything in body because we did not send anything in body uh, okay so now i'm going to make a post request and i will copy the data from here and i will select row json and just like that I, here i will update my name okay and i am not 20 i am 31 okay so i will just click on send and you can see i got the response in uh, i mean whatever i sent in the request i got it in the response uh, similar to what uh, we have you know uh, uh, what we have written here so yeah that that's how proxy integration works now i can send a get request i can send a post request uh, i can send any request okay if i send a delete request then also i will get the same response so that means uh, the endpoint or the lambda function is capable of handling all the request uh, or, or any kind of request that is coming from your uh, client device or client end uh, you know and then you can you you have this object which is you know pretty uh, 
pretty useful or you know powerful object that knows everything uh, what data coming and depending on that you can take the decision you can write one method one lambda function and that can handle get post and you can write if else here uh, and do a lot of magic so now i will take you to the lambda function uh, lambda function and i will show you uh, the logs in cloudwatch so i will select proxy integration from here i will go in monitor tab uh, i will here yeah, logs so i will sh yeah we got the logs uh huh why hit this okay i will go in cloud watch now, now i will show i mean the last thing pending which is you know what is the use of proxy resources okay before that just see the logs so i log the request here so you can see the entire request has been logged here yeah you can see it is similar to what i was showing you here okay so i will close this but you can see the actual request all the data that we sent is you know getting logged here okay now so now you have seen the proxy integration you have seen non proxy integration now i will show you what is the proxy integration with proxy resource and that is very powerful okay so i am not going to change the lambda function i am going to use the same lambda function the proxy aws lambda but i will show you how we don't even need to you know maintain urls or we can just uh, you know supply any your uh, sorry yeah it is this so we can supply any url and all the url okay uh, so let's see it so here i have created proxy resource now i will what i will do i will just create another resource here yeah, create resource and i will take this okay i'm just creating this and here now i will click proxy resource okay so okay yeah it says that i need to do it proxy yeah fine instead of this i should write it proxy okay so what will happen uh, this is my api now i can type abcd here i can type get users i can type uh, delete user you know anything i can append after this because now the resource proxy has been done so you are not limited to have you know maintain only this url uh, which you know the url which you are maintaining earlier now you can all uh, change any i mean you can update the route with any value that you want and all the things uh, i mean uh, it will just check the front part i mean till this uh, if you know it is matching with the resource that you have configured here then it will and after that you add anything all everything will be routed to the same lambda function and ideally i should what i should do is you know okay so to explain you better uh, i will delete this okay i don't need not not delete api i will delete this resource i will delete this resource as well and let's just configure this create method uh so, so 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 create method any and here i will just select lambda function and i will select uh okay sorry sorry no 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 i should not i need a resource i need to create a resource and i select this and it it has automatically updated it to proxy plus and now here lambda proxy i will select my uh, you know lambda function so which is this proxy so now i will deploy this okay so i will deploy this api dev stage okay so now the magic is like i have created this okay now now i i have not i have deleted this non proxy api so i just talk it like get uh get response i mean i have not created any method or any resource like that but still i am getting the response because if e i mean it now the api is configured with proxy resource so you can use any url you can use any method type and you know your one lambda will get everything uh, 
uh, it will handle all the request which is this one all the request will come here uh, so now uh, you can uh, create like if the input dot request context dot path is something like this then i want to handle it in this way okay sorry um what is this here okay get user then i want to handle it in a different way and you can add you know conditions like if the method type is delete or pause so uh, depending depending on whatever your requirement is you can maintain a single lambda function and you know configure it to handle all kind of request so that was the concept of uh, uh, proxy integration and non proxy integration uh, how, and how to work uh, how to deal with them using dot net so i hope you you have liked this video and uh, uh, I you know please do like this uh, video and subscribe my channel to get more such videos uh, which are basically related to AWS and .NET. So thank you very much for watching this.